Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a multicolor vinyl decal with your Cricut. Multicolor designs are so fun to make, but if you are a beginner, they can also be intimidating. In this tutorial, I'll walk you step by step through the process of setting up the multicolor design in Design Space, and then I'll show you how to cut it on your Cricut. So let's head over to Cricut Design Space and get started. So the first thing you need to do is either create your own design or import an SVG file and resize it so that it will fit on your project. And I'm going to be using this Create Your Own Sunshine design, which you can get for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. And I will put the link to the free file down below. When you import SVG files, all of the different elements, even if they're different colored, are grouped together. And you can see this when I click on the design. Everything is selected and moves together. So we need to ungroup the design so we can work with the individual colors. And you can do this by selecting the design and choosing ungroup over here on the right, or you can right click and choose ungroup. And that will just break apart the different colors of this design. When I break apart this design, you'll also notice that all the elements that are the same color are grouped together. So when I select any of the green elements, it will select all of them. And you'll notice over here on the right that all of the green elements are under this one drop down. And same with the rest of the colors. Now sometimes you'll come across a file where all the elements of the same color aren't grouped together, and it will look like this. So now all these green elements are their own group. You can select individual letters and work with them. If the file you're using appears like this, you'll just need to group all the elements of the same color together. And you can do this by holding down your shift key and then clicking on each element of the same color with your mouse. So we'll start up here with the N and then just click all of the letters that are green. Once you've selected all the elements of the same color, you can either choose group up here or you can right click and choose group. And then you'll repeat that process with any colors that are in your file. There also might be times when you want to change the colors of elements in the group. Say you want the rays of the sunshine to stay yellow, but you want the word sunshine to be orange. Click on any element that's yellow and then click on group. And what that did is broke apart individual elements of the yellow design. So now you can select individual pieces that are yellow. So we need to group all of the yellow rays together and you can do that over here on the right. You can just hold down your shift key and then select all of the rays and then click group. And so now all of the rays are grouped together. So now let's work on the word sunshine. So we'll select the dot and the word and choose group. And then we can go up here to our color box and just choose a different color. And that's how you change the colors of the design. But I'm gonna go back and change this to yellow. Okay, now you've got your design colored and resized like you want. The next thing that we need to do is attach elements that are the same color. And I just really quick want to show you what will happen if you skip this step. So I'm going to click on the green make it button. And on this screen, Cricut Design Space will divide your design onto four different cutting mats. Each of these mats correspond to the colors we used in our design but you'll notice that it shifts around the different elements and it does this to save space so that you'll use the least amount of vinyl possible. But you'll notice how hard it would make it to put this design together. And it would just be very difficult to apply this to any project. This is really confusing and it's often where people get stuck. Luckily, there's one step that will fix this problem. So we're gonna go back to our canvas screen and attach any elements that are the same color. So we'll start with the green group. We'll select the green group and you can either click attach down here on the right 
or you can right click and choose attach. Now the green is done, let's do the yellow. So select it and right click and choose attach. So now we just need to attach the blue letters, but you'll notice when I click on the blue, it actually is selecting the yellow. So we'll go over here and select the blue on the right side. So if you select it there, and you'll see that it selects all of those blue letters. And then I'm just going to go down here and click on attach. So if there's only one element of a color, you don't need to attach that. And since there's only one thing that's gray, we can skip that one. And that's all that we need to do on this canvas screen. So now we can click on the green make it button. And you'll notice once again, Cricut Design Space has separated our design into four different mats. But if you look closer at these mats, you can see now that the design is just the way we see it on our canvas screen. So now click on the green continue button. Once Cricut Design Space finds your Cricut, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that your dial is set to vinyl and then you can go load your first cutting mat. So in this project, the first color we'll be cutting is gray. So you'll want to place a piece of gray vinyl onto your cutting mat and then load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin cutting. Once it's finished, you can press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. Remove the gray vinyl from your cutting mat and place on a piece of yellow vinyl. You can load that into your machine by pressing the up and down arrow button again. Now Cricut Design Space will automatically move to the next color of vinyl and you can press that C button again to begin cutting. Repeat this step until all of your colors of vinyl have been cut. Once all of the vinyl has been cut, you can use your weeding tool to remove the excess vinyl from around the design and the letters. Next, you'll need to apply some transfer tape to the vinyl. I like to cut a large piece of transfer tape and place it sticky side up on my work surface. Then lay the different pieces of vinyl on top of the transfer tape and rub over everything with your scraper. Trim off the excess transfer tape and cut apart the different sections of vinyl. Now your decal is ready to apply to your project. Grab the color of vinyl that will go on the bottom of your design. For this design, it doesn't really matter the order you layer the design because none of the colors actually go on top of one another. But if you have a design where the colors are layered, you'll need to put the bottom color on your project first and then work your way up. Since the yellow layer is the biggest layer of this project, I'm going to start with that. So remove the vinyl backing and then place the vinyl on your project. Make sure it's straight and centered and then rub over it again with your scraper and pull off the transfer tape. Repeat these steps until you've applied all the colors of vinyl. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to make a multicolor vinyl decal with your Cricut. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll get notified each time I post a new video.